In New York City, with the fire department, we have many challenges in the underground subterranean environment, whether it be uh, a train fire, a terrorist incident, or just a derailed train. We don't get that situational awareness of what's going down in the tunnel, what's happening, uh, until we get some firefighters down there. The DARPA Subterranean Challenge is an opportunity for us to innovate new technologies that allow us to explore complex underground environments. One of the main impacts of the DARPA Subterranean Challenge is that the technologies that we create will allow for first responders, incident commanders, warfighters, and their commanders to understand the environment before they have to send in humans in harm's way. By using autonomous systems to underground, the map, search for the dangerous material, I can leave the warfighter on the surface such that the robots take the risk, not the warfighter. Communications is a critical problem that we have in the city with our radios. And it could be a half mile to a mile back. It could be two or three levels they're going down. It could be winding turns. If we can get some better communications down there for our guys, it would benefit the incident commander on making decisions. One of the questions that comes up is, how can a team be successful in the DARPA Subterranean Challenge? And I think at the core, if you are able to address breakthrough technologies in the four areas that we're interested in, of autonomy, perception, networking, and mobility, and identify kind of this holistic view of the problem space, understanding that we're interested in versatile solutions that can transcend the boundaries of underground environments. I think that's what will make teams quite successful. One of the exciting things about a DARPA challenge is that it affords an opportunity for newcomers to come and contribute to the challenge ecosystem. So whether you're a component technology developer, whether you're a subject matter expert who can contribute knowledge and expertise in that manner, the Subterranean Challenge is a great place where uh, all sorts of technology uh, approaches can, can be brought to bear. Some of the types of things that we're interested in range from infrastructure, civil engineering, all the way to mining and mine safety. Then you go into speleology and geology and the scientific realms. We're able to bring together a lot of these different communities, and I'm interested in finding partnerships that exist that will be created, fostered to the challenge. I'm excited about the DARPA Subterranean Challenge because it'll mature technologies that we need in the Department of Defense for capabilities to minimize the risk to human life and accomplish missions. From my perspective, you know, I, I, I think it's only could benefit the fire service by this challenge. You know, having these uh, very smart minds putting some together for the, you know, the blue collar worker that's going to put out fires or going to help save people. Uh, I think we'll, we'll definitely benefit from it and I'm excited that we may have a new product that we can use in our arsenal.